Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's car. Listen man, legendary, legendary SS 454 power. Uh, you talk about a 454 Chevelle, and that is serious, serious power. Then you should throw in uh, some horsepower upgrades, like let's say you could get the optional LS6 engine, uh, which is a pretty rare thing, but a very different engine than the standard 454, and that's what we have in here. So not only do we have a real deal 454 Chevelle, uh, this has the 512 coated block, so it has the four bolt mains, it sounds different, it feels different. This is the real LS6 drivetrain in here with an M22 rock crusher. This is a bad mamma jamma, man. You wanna pull up someplace, open the hood, it doesn't matter, you don't even need to open the hood. You could actually park around the corner and just start the car. Everyone's head will spin, and when I start it for you, you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? All right, so come on up, let's talk about some good stuff. I like to make sure things look good for you, so that you look good, and then you can say something good about me, all right? So come on up here and let's look at this. All right, so you're online, you're looking at videos and things. Can you read all that in that paint? Yes, you can. You wanna make sure you can do that. On top of it, you wanna make sure that they've clear coated over these stripes so that they don't tear when you wash and wax the car. This, you can't even feel the stripes. Silky smooth. Look at the fit and panel gaps on this car. Beautifully done. New bumpers, hood pins, grill, emblems, headlights, okay? Even a tag is in the right space where it's supposed to be. This is a real deal cal induction hood with the flapper hood like it's supposed to. Once it starts, this will flop down and seal itself up. But when you open her up a little bit and she wants some fresh air, the air hits the windshield, comes on in here and takes a nice cold fresh air from the outside. All right, come on down here. I want to talk about a couple other things. First off, I love this call out. 454, real deal car. But I wanted to show you this as well. A lot of people don't spend the time to wet sand and buff Painters don't love, don't take this wrong painters, I think you're right, don't love uh, to bend their knees, okay? After years and years of bending their knees, they don't love that. But this car here is beautifully done. Matter of fact, it was just wet sanded and compound. We left a little compound in there, I'll get that out for you. But anyway, I just wanted you to see this because it's just beautiful. But inside here, BFG radial TAs, just like they're supposed to be on the Magnum 500s. Power disc brakes inside there. Power disc brakes, man. Make sure you're asking about that when you're online new wheel opening moldings, emblems, all this stuff here. And then if you look under here, beautifully detailed, all new floor pans, the frame is painted. It was a frame off restoration and it was done beautifully. This car is just, uh, this is an awesome, awesome car. I have to tell you, this is, uh, it's one of those cars that makes a muscle car, really a muscle car. Talk a little more about uh, what most of the people, not that I would suggest that you go ahead and race anybody, but let's say you decide to do it completely on your own without my uh, okay. Come on back here, I'm gonna show you what they're gonna see. SS call out right here like it's supposed to be. Clear coated over stripes, you can't even feel the stripes. And then if they have enough time to look, they'll see the call out of the Chevelle. Great looking tail lights on the 70 model Chevelle. It's got the right exhaust tips, all right? And then, uh, and then what I wanted to show you was down here where you can see the F41 suspensions there, okay? The tag for the positive traction unit, new gas tank, tank straps, it's not spray bombed yellow or spray bomb, spray bomb silver or spray bomb black. This is a detailed undercarriage, it's a detailed car and it's uh, detailed for somebody who wants to really have some fun. All right, let's check out the trunk for a second because you may want to put your uh, seats in there. All right, a matching uh, Firestone tire on a correct wheel. Okay, new trunk mat, splatter coated paint inside there like it's supposed to be. This is all nice, a jacking instructions, weather stripping looks good, okay? This is just nice the way it's supposed to be, and it looks good too. So if you want to go to a car show, you could open the trunk, leave it open, and really uh, show this thing off. All right, let's take a peek and see what all the fuss is about under the hood. Hood pins, which I love. One of the best muscle car things ever is hood pins. I'm gonna put hood pins on my casket. That's how much I love hood pins, okay. So, uh, this is what you should be looking for. This has uh, some other great features about it, which makes it really rare and very expensive car. So it has real working cal induction hood with the solenoid, with the flapper door and things like that. This has the original smog equipment still on it. That smog equipment right there is probably worth four to $5,000. This is a CRV coated motor. This is the 512 casting number, LS6 power rated at 450 horsepower. 
They say it's 500 horsepower right out of the box. I don't know what it is, but I know it's fast. I don't know what it is, but I want it. All right, anyway, battery topper. So some of the other detail stuff like GM hoses, tower clamps. You say, well, what's the big deal about tower clamps? Come on around this way, Arch, and let's show some of the detail over here, okay? The tower clamps, they're 10 times the price of a regular clamp, but they make it look really nice and they're authentic. Look at all the detail here, the steering box. This isn't all spray bombed black. This is satin like it's supposed to be. The steering box is a different color, okay? The front suspension's all new. The manifolds are correct. The plumbing for the smog system is still in place. Don't worry about this smog system taking any power. This car makes so much power, you won't even notice it. But it makes it investment grade, and it makes it worth more money. And that's why it's a great buy, because when you open the hood, this looks really, really authentic. It's got the right intake manifold on it. It's detailed nicely. Power disc brakes right here with the nice cadmium-plated booster. This is a wonderful, wonderful car, and it's just bad A to begin with. So anyway, so as you should see that when you open the hood, you want people to go, wow, I'm hoping you did the same thing when I open the hood here. That's why when you get it, you'll be able to do that also, OK? All right, no restoration would be complete without the detail stuff done inside. But what I wanted to share with you is this sound. The only way you're getting that sound is to put an entire day into rebuilding that door. That door, the same thing, another full day. That's why these restorations cost so much money. That's why it's always better to buy a car like this. You can't restore this car for what it's being sold for, but because it was driven for uh, just a few miles, uh, the person's willing to, to take a hit on it. And that's why you looking at this car makes a much better deal for you. This has a factory 7,000 RPM tack, 120 mile an hour speedometer. Even the clock works, man. Seriously, like, come on. All new interior, carpet, dash, visors, headliner, mirror, steering wheel, shifter, console, on and on and on. Just everything you could want uh, to make sure if you're doing it yourself, this is what you do. New knobs for the vents over there. It's so new, the floor mats haven't even come in yet. Okay? I know, crazy, right? Anyway, just a fabulous car. But uh, I have rambled on enough. How about I fire it up for you so you can hear what it sounds like? Okay, so if you're looking for a really authentic SS454 Chevelle, this might be the way you go. Let's say you wanted an authentic Chevelle, but you wanted a little more power, then this is definitely the way you go. So think about what we're talking about here. <clears throat> Real deal 454, add the LS6 power to it, add the M22 Rock Crusher transmission, which makes this wonderful whine, this mechanical sound as you're going down the road. It sounds fabulous. Got the 12 volt positive traction rear. It's got the F41 suspension on it like it's supposed to have with the boxed in control arm. You have all the things that make this a super sport. You have a factory tack. You have the original style Cal induction hood. So many great and wonderful features, not to mention that this car's originally coded 75 cranberry red, all right? And it's a fabulous paint job, so. Anyway, if you can find some way to get a really, really awesome uh, SS454 Chevelle in your life, call us 301. 816-1000, we'll tell you all about it.